Hello, this is John from caveofprogramming.com. In this tutorial, we're going to look at string streams in C++. I, I wanted to show you um, constructor parameters in this tutorial, but I realized uh, that we really could do with um, looking at string streams first. Um, string streams let you concatenate uh, disparate types of data, like, um, for example, a double and a, and a, and a string into a single string. So I've created this program here and I've got rid of everything apart from just the main function and the return method so that we can look at this uh, from scratch, so to speak. So I'm going to start by uh, declaring int, which I'll call age, and let's set that equal to 32. And I'll also um, declare a string here, which I'll call name, and we'll set that equal to Bob. Now, supposing we want a single string here that uh, includes both of these bits of information. Well, we could output them both using a cout statement, but that's only good if we want to output these immediately. We could output these with a single cout statement and some put two operators. We've seen that before. But what if we want to build up a string containing both of these bits of information? so that we can use it elsewhere in the program. Well, the first thing here is that um, I need to include uh, I a stream so that I can use string. So let's go ahead and do that, include I a stream. And it might be I stream.h on your system. You might need string.h or something different. Um, but uh, if, if you do, you'll find out at this point. And of course, you'll need to Google for that information for your compiler. And we also need to say using name, name space standard, just so STD, just so that we can use the string. Now, what we'd like to do is something like this string info equals um, age, let's say name colon plus name plus and some punctuation, and let's say age colon plus age. And of course, we could output that with C out if it worked. We could say C out info, info endler. Now that doesn't work. We, we don't see any errors here in Eclipse, at least not for the GNU compiler that, that I'm using. But let's try to build it. And what we find is we get a load of um, errors here and if we just go to the top we see that it's telling me the the problem is this plus sign here it's the plus sign this one here and the reason for that is that um, plus is not defined for a string which this lot is and an age and a, a sorry and an int which this is so we could add two ints together that's no problem we can con concatenate two strings with a plus sign that's no problem but we can't concatenate an int with a string. And to get around that, we can use um, uh, a class called string stream. The first thing we need to do is include at the top here, and we need to include a string, st I think it's called this s, s, s stream, like this s stream. So um, this, I'm pretty sure it, it's called different things on different compilers. Maybe not, but uh, it's worth just putting the include in, commenting out anything else that gives you an error for the moment, and just checking that you can compile the project, make sure it's saved, and compile it just with that include, s stream. And we've also got some error here. Oh, it's just a warning. Yeah, so it, it actually, the build has actually been successful and we can run it. We've just got a warning uh, because we're not using these variables, I suppose. Now, if, if you can't build and run this program with, with no output like this, then um, and you have an error that's pointing to this line, then it, it may be called something different on your system like sstream.h or even, I don't know, even stringstream.h or something. And you just, you just need to Google that for your compiler you know, Google string stream, Visual C++ or whatever. But here it's fine. And what I can do now is declare an object 
of the type string stream, which I'll call SS, string stream. And again, I'm going to save that I'm going to, and I'm going to build it. And I'd recommend you do the same and just check that you don't get any errors. We're getting, we're getting this warning about these unused variables, but I could just comment those out. Maybe that's, that's better. Just build it and it should look pretty good. Yeah, so we've got no errors. If you do get an error, again, just Google string stream for your compiler and see if it's called something different there. You, you need to make sure that you've got using namespace standard because not only string C out, but also string stream are in this namespace and we'll look at namespaces in future. So once you've got this working with the include and with the actual um, variable declared of type string stream, you can go ahead and use it. So streams in programming are um, the streams of data, basically the, the things that you can send data to or get data from. So this represents a, a kind of stream um, that is used to build up a string. So now instead of this, which, which doesn't work, what we can do is we can say SS, use the put to operator, just as we do out with this, which is the uh, console output stream. So SS put to, and um, let's say age is colon. And then we'll use another line and uh, SS put to uh, age. And uh, actually let's put at the start here, SS put to name is colon and SS put to name. And then just before age, I'll put in some, some, some punctuation just to split it up visually. And now finally in our C out, we can do C out SS dot str and the dot str method of string stream converts it to an actual string. Let's run that and see if it works. So now we've got name is Bob, age is 32. Uh, so now we, we could pass this, um, this object around or even we could convert it to a string. Let's say we could say string info equals ss.str and then we could just output info in our CL. So the, the object of all of this here was just to get this information in a single string info and we can then do what we like with it. In this case, we, we're just gonna output it down here. So to practice this, and it's important to practice, um, just again, declare some variables. You can use doubles, in strings, whatever comes to mind really, try it with anything that you feel like trying it with. And then use a string stream to um, turn it all into a single string and then output it. And we'll use that later. And if anything doesn't work, don't hesitate to Google for how to do this for your particular compiler. So we'll leave it there for this tutorial. And until next time, happy coding.